Hello everyone, Rochelle here and today I'm going to be sharing with you all how to make this hat. It's a crochet hat and I have named it the peanut beanie after my dog peanut. So as you can see there's some very simple stitches here. We have uh, half double crochets, triple crochets and we will go over these along the way. Alright, so for this hat you will need a few things. You will need yarn of course. You will need at least two ounces of yarn. And you will need a needle for sewing in your uh, finished tails and your uh, magic ring. You will need a crochet hook of course. And today we will be using the H number eight five millimeter crochet hook. And you will also need a pair of scissors. So let's get started. Okay, to start this hat, we are going to start with a magic ring. So to do the magic ring, we're going to take and do two loops over our index finger. And we are going to take our hook and go under the first loop, over the second loop, pull the second loop under the first loop, and twist up. And so we have one loop on our crochet hook. And now we are going to chain two. And this chain two is going to count as the first half double crochet. Okay, so now we have two and we're going to slip the ring off of our finger and we are going to put 11 half double crochets into the ring. And to do the half double crochet, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the ring, yarn over again, pull up another loop, yarn over, and you're going to go through all three loops that are on the hook. So that is how we do our half double crochet. Now we need to have a, we need to have 12 half double crochets total. So let's go ahead and do 10 more. Okay, so we should have 12 total now. Let's go ahead and count these. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull our magic ring close, and we will tighten that up later. So now you are going to slip stitch into the top of the first half double crochet, which is that chain two. So here is going to be your first half double crochet that you are going to slip into. So there we go. All right, so you should have 12 stitches total. Now let's begin round two. For round two, we are going to chain two. However, this chain two does not count as the first half double crochet. And so what we're going to do next is we're going to work two half double crochets in the same stitch. So two half double crochets in the same stitch right here. So we put two half double crochets in the same stitch and now we are going to put ha two half double crochets in each stitch all the way around and you will have a total of 24 stitches. So let's go ahead and start doing that and I will meet you all back around at the end. So I've done 22 stitches. Now I'm going to do the last two. Okay, so that is 24 stitches total. And if you all remember that chain two does not count as the first half double crochet. So we are going to join with a slip stitch into this 
double this half double crochet here so the one after the chain two that's where we're going to slip stitch okay now we have 24 stitches so let's move on to round three so for round three is when we will begin our triple crochet stitches and I'm going to zoom out just a little bit here. Okay, so for round three, you are going to chain four. And this chain four is going to count as the first triple crochet. Okay, so we are going to work two triple crochets into the next stitch. So to do a triple crochet, we are going to yarn over two times. One, two. And we're going to do a triple crochet into the next stitch, which will be this one here. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the next two, yarn over, pull through the last two. So there we have a triple crochet. And I will show you all that one more time because we're gonna do another triple crochet in that same stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, bring up a loop. Oops, made a mistake there. I didn't do my two yarn overs. Okay, let's try that again. Yarn over twice. Now we're going to insert our hook, yarn over, bring up a loop, yarn over, go through two loops, yarn over, go through two more loops, yarn over again, and we're going to go through those last two. Now we're going to work one triple crochet into the next stitch. And then the following stitch, we are going to work two triple crochets. So that is the pattern that we're gonna follow all the way around. So I'll do a few more of these. So we'll have two triple crochets in the next stitch. And we'll have one, cro one triple crochet in the following stitch. And you're going to do this all the way around and you will have a total of 36 stitches total and I'm going to continue to work and I will join you all when we get back to the end of the round. So now I have done 34 stitches and I'm going to go ahead and do the last two and that is going to be two triple crochets into this next stitch. And we're going to join to the top of that chain four. We're going to join with the slip stitch. Okay, so now round three is complete. So let's move on to round four. For round four, it's going to be another row of triple crochets. And so we are going to chain four. And this chain four does count as the first triple crochet. We are going to work two triple crochets into the next stitch. And we are going to work one triple crochet into the next two stitches. So we're going to put a triple crochet here and a triple crochet here, just one in each. And 
And next, we are going to work two triple crochets into the next stitch. And then we are going to work one triple crochet into the next two stitches. So one triple crochet here and one triple crochet here. And we are going to follow this pattern all the way around. So the next stitch will have two triple crochets in the stitch and then you'll do one triple crochet in the next stitch, one triple crochet in the next stitch, and then two, crochet, two triple crochets in the following stitch. And you will continue this all the way around until you have 48 stitches total. Okay, I've gotten back around. I'm almost done with this row. So far I've done 47. And as you can see here, I've done two triple crochets in one stitch and then one triple crochet in these two stitches here and now I'm ready to do uh, two triple crochets in this stitch I've already done one so I'm just going to go ahead and put the second one there and at this point you should have one stitch left and you're going to put a triple crochet into that stitch And then you're going to join with the slip stitch to the top of that chain four, which counts as the first triple crochet. So at this point, you should have 48 stitches total. And as you can see here, the pattern lines up with itself. Uh, two triple crochets in one stitch, then one triple crochet in each stitch, two triple crochets in one stitch, and then we have one triple crochet here and one triple crochet here. So it lines up and you should have 48 stitches total. All right, so let's move on to round five. And for round five, we are going to be doing half double crochets. So we will get a break from all of those triple crochets. Okay, so for round five, we are going to start off by doing two chain stitches. So two chains, one and two. And this will count as the first half double crochet. So next we're going to work one half double crochet in the next four stitches. So that would be one, two, three, and four. And next we are going to work two half double crochets in the next stitch. And next we are going to work one, one half double crochet into the following five stitches. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, and five. And then we are going to work two half double crochets in the next stitch. So one, and two and we are going to follow that pattern all the way around and you will notice that it's starting to curl up some and that's completely normal i'm now back around to the end and i have done 54 stitches so i'm going to go ahead and do the last two stitches that's going to be two half double crochets in the stitch and now I will join to the top of that chain two, which counted as the first half double crochet. So we're going to join with a slip stitch. Okay, so you should have 
56 total stitches at this point. For round six, we are going to continue with those half double crochets and we're going to chain two and we're going to work a half double crochet into the next stitch. And then we're just going to work one half double crochet into each stitch all the way around. And when you get to the end of this row, you should have 56 stitches. So I'm just going to continue to put one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around and I will meet you back at the end. I have now done 55 stitches so I'm going to go ahead and do that last half double crochet and I'm going to slip stitch to the top of the chain two. So that is the end of round six and here at round six if you want you can stop and go ahead and tighten up that magic ring. So I'm simply just going to thread my needle and I'm going to pull it close, closed, like so. And I'm just going to go ahead and tie a knot because sometimes as you continue to work that magic ring will, uh, it'll get bigger. So you want to just go ahead and tie it off there. And at this point you can go ahead and weave it in if you want to or you can just weave it in at the end which is what I usually do. It's up to you. Alright so let's go ahead and get started with round seven. So for round seven we are back with the triple crochets. So we are going to chain four and we are going to work one triple crochet into the next stitch and we are going to work another we're going to work another triple crochet in the next stitch and we are going to work one triple crochet in each stitch all the way around and I will join you all when we get back to the end there. I have done 55 stitches so I'm going to go ahead and finish this round with the 56 triple crochet and I'm going to join at the top of that chain four with the slip stitch okay so that is the end of round seven and for round eight we are just going to repeat round seven so chain four triple crochet into the next stitch and we're just going to put one triple crochet in each stitch all the way around and I will join you all when I get to the end. I'm now at the end of round eight and I have 55 triple crochets so I'm going to go ahead and put that last triple crochet there. And join at the top of the chain four. With a slip stitch. So that's round eight and I have a total of 56 triple crochets. So for now we're going to start on round number nine. And for number nine, we are going to do uh, two chains and we are going to do one half double crochet in each stitch around. I'll go ahead and get started. 
So chain two, and we're going to half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. And I'll meet you when we get to the end of the row. I have now done 55 half double crochets and I'm going to go ahead and do the 56 half double crochet and I'm going to slip stitch into that chain two. So now we have 56 stitches all the way around and now let's go ahead and start round number 10 and we're going to do round number 10 just like we did round number nine. So we're going to chain two and we're going to put a half double crochet in each stitch around. And I'm going to meet you all back around at the end. I am now about to finish up round 10 and I have one more stitch to go. And I have 56 now and I'm going to join to the top of the chain two stitch. All right, so that is the end of round 10. So for rounds 11 and 12, we are gonna repeat round seven, but I'll go ahead and start on round number 11. And we are going to go back to our triple crochets. So chain four, and put one triple crochet in each stitch all the way around. And I will meet you all back at the end of round 11. Okay, so I'm near the end of round 11 and I'm going to do the last triple crochet and slip stitch to the top of that chain four. So I have 56 stitches all the way around and now we're gonna go ahead and start on round number 12, which is the same as round number 11. So we're gonna chain four and we're gonna put one triple crochet in each stitch all the way around. And I will meet you all back at the end. I'm now at the end of round number 12 and I have one more triple crochet to put in. And slip stitch to the top, the top of the chain four. All right, so there we have 56 stitches total. All right, so let's move on to round 13. For round 13, you are going to work one single crochet in the back loop only. So what's helpful is if you have a stitch marker, I have one here. So we're going to go ahead and do a single crochet in the back loop only of that next, uh, next stitch there. So you're going to do a single crochet into the next stitch in the back loop only. It will be helpful to you to put a stitch marker right there just to kind of help you to remember. All right. And now you are going to do one single crochet in the back loop only all the way around. And as you see there, it's starting to create like a ridge there. That's what we want. So continue to single crochet in the back loop only all the way around 
and I'll meet you on the other side. Okay, so I have done 55 single crochets in the back loop. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up round number 13. So at this point, I have 56 single crochets in the back loop and I am going to join with a slip stitch to the top of that single crochet from the uh, from the first the first stitch. So I'm going to do that in the back loop only. So just to explain that again, I'm going to join to this single crochet with a slip stitch in the back loop only. And also I'm going to remove my stitch marker and I'm now going to put it here at the first single crochet of this row. And this will be our final row. So now you just continue to put one single crochet in the back loops only. all the way around and you'll just continue to do that all the way around and I will meet you when we get back here okay so I have one stitch left and I'm going to go ahead and finish with that last single crochet in the back loop all right so I am back to that first single crochet and I am going to join with a slip stitch through both loops since this is our last row. And I'll go ahead and remove that stitch marker. All right, so this is our hat. I hope your hat turned out wonderfully and we'll go ahead and finish this hat off. To do that, we are simply going to, we're going to finish with an, with an invisible join. Get my scissors ready. All right, so we're going to cut ourselves a tail, three to five inches is fine. So we're going to go ahead and pull that out. All right, so we're going to take our needle and we're going to go forward one stitch and put um, our needle through both loops. And then we're going to go back a stitch and we're going to put it we're going to put our needles through just the back loop there. And as you see, it makes a nice clean invisible join. And so at this point, you can go ahead and tie a knot just to finish off. I like to double knot mine. And you can proceed to weave in your ends. You can continue to weave those in however you like. However, do not forget about the end that we have here and our magic ring that we closed in. So go ahead and close that in and weave that end in through the hat. And so there you have it. So at this point, you'll just go ahead and snip your ends. See where that other one go. And just snip it there. All right. There you have your hat. I hope that you all enjoyed this tutorial 
and uh, there will be actually this pattern is already on Ravelry it is the peanut beanie and I will leave a link in the description box below where you all can find that and so thank you all so much for watching have a good day bye